Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Phobos and I'm with the Bronze League Gaming here bringing you another StarCraft 2 replay. Uh, it was submitted to us by Kim Hyung Jun, which I have to thank him for. So without further ado, let's get, go ahead and get into this game. In the top corner we have Zandan spawning as the Red Zerg. And we have Ball Zales as his teammate spawning as the Blue Terran. And the, uh, oh... <laughs> Two Bronze League perspective. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the shout out, Trilobite. He is another uh, regular submitter, and I appreciate the the shout out. Not expected. Thank you. Anyway, uh, Trilobite spawning is the Teal Zerg in the bottom map position, sharing bases with Kim Hyung Jun spawning as the Purple Terran. Thank you for joining us today, gentlemen. We do see some scouts going out here, the uh, SCV scout. Looks like Trilobite is planning to fast expand here. Do see the uh, forward supply depot coming down as well as that scout moving out. I, oh, that's what that SCV is, not scout, he's building a supply depot. Do see the scouts moving out for the other side as well. Zanden moving out with that overlord and Ballzales moving out with kind of a quick scout. He's, he's already two almost all the way across the map um, see if this is reminiscent of some sort of uh, not rem see if this is in an indication of some sort of cheesy gameplay uh, proxy pylons gates cannon rushes or if he's just gonna be standard and just grab scouting information looks like Kim doesn't want anything going down so he's just gonna keep a real close eye on that probe do you see the spawning pool coming down for Trilobite here. See the forge first for uh, ball zales, which is another indication of some sort of proxy or cannon. And uh, he's not really doing a whole lot. It looks like he's going to be a little bit aggressive with that probe. Do you see? Uh, Trilobite grabbing all the scouting information that he really wants. Sees the double gateway, the forge, and not the double, the pylons, as well as the gateway and forge here. Uh, we do have the spawning pool for Zandan down as well. And we do see a wall off getting completed here because of the double racks that Kim Jung, Kim Hyun Jun is dropping. I'm just going to go ahead and continue to call him Kim. Do you see the expansion for Trilobite going ahead with the game plan? Looks like Kim wants those Zeldnaga Towers, a very reasonable idea. Uh, guarantees quite a bit of map control. And we do finally see that Cybernetics Core coming down for, uh, four balls. I'm going to call them balls because that's a lot easier than the two-syllable word. Roach Warren coming down for Xandan here. That Overlord is moving into position it looks like. He's going to keep a scout on the corner of the space. I don't know why you'd want to scout a corner like that. I don't know. Whatever. Because that's not going to grant you any information. All that really is going to do is let you pop a Nidus network somewhere a lot later in the game. But I bet you that would be that close to the main it's going to get spotted real quick. It looks like Kim wants to push out real fast. All he sees are tech buildings over here. But we do have some roaches on the board. And uh, a couple more roaches coming out. Do you see warp gate research underway for ball zales, as well as a stalker on the way out from that gateway. That expansion is up. We do see a small probe drone split. No speed. There starts the speedling uh, research. Gonna see a couple marines move out. We see another racks come out. Sorry, excuse me for that. With double tech lab and reactor. It's quite a bit of bio coming out of that uh out of Kim Jong here. He spots those roaches very quickly with that Zelnaga Tower. That's why I always think it's a good idea to grab those. And on the way around it looks like Xandan's gonna go ahead and grab some scouting information. I don't think he caught wind of any of those units so close to it right there though. Looks like uh Trilobite lost an overlord to that stalker who just decided to tag along and found an overlord. We might see a bit of engagement. Looks like he can't really decide 
forward, back, forward, forward. Looks like we're gonna f he's going to go ahead and force an engagement. There are a handful of Zerglings here, which are going to provide a nice meat shield. That first Marauder goes down. Takes out the Zerglings, though, is able to work on the Roaches, but there's too many Marines in this composition. Those Roaches are going to eat right through them. Second Marauder's down. Third Marauder in the back is doing some work on these Roaches. One Roach goes down. A couple Marauders reinforcing here, as well as some Marines, focusing down those Roaches. Takes out all those Roaches. Going to loses another Marauder, though. He's down to two units. Takes out another Stalker, and pulls back. We do see... Uh, Ballzale's dropping a proxy here. Some static defense that Trilobite was hoping to employ. Looks like it doesn't get its chance to shine. A couple more Marauders out. We do have the speed link, the Zerglings out. I'm sorry. Speed research is not no, just finished. <laughs> oh. Speedlings are out then. We see a round of warp-ins from Ballzales as well as some Zerglings moving in. With that uh, Marauder heavy composition, Zerglings are going to be pretty effective, actually. See some more Roaches coming out. And I would not have chosen to engage right there. He's losing uh, quite a few Marauders, taking quite a bit of damage. That he needs to get those Zerglings into this fight. Can't let his teammate take it. Swings him around and engages on the backside. He's going to lose quite a few of those lings, but he's going to do quite a bit of damage and just create a lot of distracting fire. More lings reinforcing. Loses the roaches. One roach extremely low. There it goes <laughs> from the spine crawler. Almost shuts down another one. Looks like this queen is going to go ahead and pull back. Needs to hit that roach. Just snipe the roach. Just snipe the roach. And the spine crawler goes down. More zerglings coming out. So with some marine reinforcements coming from the back. And the stalkers are going to continue to move towards the secondary spine crawler. Another stalker goes down. Third stalker goes down. More links from the side. Looks like we do see an SCV and drone wall meat shield coming in. Those marauders are get. We do have some Zerglings inside the main here, but these, these Zerglings should be able to take care of that. Do see drones pulling back inside. These uh, Marauders forced to stem retreat. With those Zerglings be able to take on the Meat Shield roll, they do push the Stalkers back. He needs to get those, those uh, Marauders back and firing on these Stalkers here. Those Zerglings are doing a very good job of kiting out those, or knock, driving back those stalkers we do see another round coming in a couple zerglings playing pan and looks like the zerglings are pulling back we do have a sizable force of marauders here in the base though looks like he might stop and wait for some reinforcements do see more zerglings moving across the map here as well as a couple roaches we do have that uh spire out for trilobite so we may see some mutilists here soon we do have more spine crawlers being dropped at the front of the base as per kim's request here do have a lot more zerglings here too this drone is still grabbing a bunch of scouting information sees that expansion going up we do have a major engagement here those zerglings are able to provide a meat shield for those Zer these uh... marine marauder ball which is oh so important keep pushing come on keep going those stalkers aren't those zerglings aren't gonna last long with that many stalkers we do have some uh... mutilists on the board now and they're gonna pass this expansion Okay. Do have those stalkers pulling back though? Did see those mutilists swing by? Gonna f snipe down that hydralisk, pretty much the only anti air. We do have a spore crawler here, and it's gonna drive these mutilists into the main. It looks like they're gonna snipe down this spire, gonna keep them on some uh, lower grade tech. We do have more hydralisks moving out though, as well as a queen picking its stuff. Do does lose a drone there, loses two more, and it looks like they may swing. Yeah, there they go. And those stalkers are going to continue to drive them off. Stay away from... Nope. Ra loses one to those stalkers. And maybe... Nope. The rest of those pull away. We do have the Marine Marauder push from Kim Jong while those stalkers were in base dealing with that uh, those mutilisks. And we do because of that, these guys were able to shut this expansion down very quickly. 
We do have this expansion for Xandan here, and he is starting to saturate it. He did take quite a bit of harassment, though. We are seeing some Hydralisks pop out for him, though. This uh, Overlord is still chilling here in the corner, and we see an expansion for Kim Jong here taking the corner position, as well as his harassment force, which shut down that expansion, pulling back to base, going to recoup. He is on Star Tech, Starport Tech now, uh, getting a couple more lings here, as and as we can see, he is starting to go for uh, Ultralisk Tech. Double evolution chamber coming out for Trilobite. We do see the SCV split here. What the heck? What are those? Oh, looks like they, they're they following one of them. <laughs> I hope Kim spots that pretty quick. Couple roving marauders. I'm not sure what they were doing. This pylon, this proxy pylon needs to get shut down. I don't know why it's still out here. A lot of Zerglings here. Looks like everybody's just kind of taking a breather, setting, calming down. Do you have a robotics facility as well as the Templar Archive researching Blink for Balzales here? Uh, Stalker Force is pretty sizable at this at the moment. Don't see a whole lot of tech coming out for uh, Zandan here. Those Hydralisks are up on the high ground. Looks like they're fending off some more Mutalisk harassment. Do you have that probe? If those Mutalisks have swung to the side just a little earlier. They would have spotted this, which looks like it's going to go ahead and take this uh, 2 o'clock expansion position. Do have some Marauders out. They did shut down that pylon, finally. And they're giving these Medivacs quite a bit of a workout, healing up all those units. They are spent on energy. A couple more Marauders and Marines coming back in. Uh handful more mutilisks moving out but with this many hydralisks we see no creep spread from Xandan. I'm I'm thoroughly disappointed in that. Uh, That's not good. Those hydralisks don't function nearly as well off creep as they do on creep. We do have those hydralisks meeting up. Looks like we are going to go ahead and see a push here from Kim and Trilobite. Uh, we're not seeing any of his Zerglings in this fight, though, which I don't know if I agree with. Did you see a scan going down? Those Medivacs are... There we go. We see a stim. A little bit early, but not the major. Those Hydralisks are going to get torn to shreds here. They go down very quickly. Offensive blink for Balzales. I don't know if I agree with that. A lot of uh, Mutilus, the Mutilus harassment doing on the way in the back. They need to focus on these Stalkers, though. Those Medivacs are keeping this units alive for so long. One stalker left. A couple zerglings get pulled out and it looks like he's gonna go ahead and lift those up. These uh mutilists are doing quite a bit of overlord sniping and he's gonna see if he can supply cap his uh opponent. But considering all the Zergling hydralists they just lost, I don't see that happening. You have a another warp in and a blink that's gonna drive these uh these mutilists off, takes a pot shot at one of those Zerglings, almost kills a handful of them. Have a greater spire coming out for Trilobite here. Do you see some reinforcements getting moved to those the Zelnaga Tower? Lings are coming out. Looks like they're gonna get a decent strand, mop up those forces. They are gonna pull back though. Man, those medevacs are just keeping everything alive. He's losing them, but they these units are losing a lot of their effectiveness real quickly. Do you have a though? handful more of uh, mutilists here. This base is up and running. Only two cannons for defense. Not a lot else. Uh, does have a handful of stalkers. He needs to switch tech here. Has got a robo facility but hasn't done anything with it. Alright. We do see these medevacs filling up. Looks like we're going to see a drop here. A lot of zergling still. Uh, drones coming out. Do see this expansion is pretty thoroughly oversaturated. He taking this uh, 3 o'clock expansion here for Trilobite. The, uh, pretty well done. Oh, and and the 9 o'clock expansion for Kim Jong. They're just expanding all over the place. And Trilobite double expanding, uh, followed closely by these medevacs. Looks like he's going to go ahead and drop it into this freshly mined zone where there are no minerals here. Going to go ahead and snipe a couple of these pylons down, knock out that uh, Zerg. We do have some Hellions in here to hopefully fend off some Zerglings. These 
Stalkers do not want to engage through that choke point created by his own buildings. Do have, and it looks like, oh boy, looks like Balzales is getting shut down pretty hard here. Looks like Trilobite wants that Cybercore gone. Doesn't want to deal with any more Stalkers. And this base is getting mopped up very quickly. Don't know where those Stalkers are going. He needs to meet up with his, uh, with his teammate and see if they can end this. But at this point, I think there's just too many, too many of these bio units. That's Queen, these Overlords, that, those tech, that's all just melted gonna leave that building alive for some reason we do see the counterattack coming here those mutalists fly fly right in the way <laughs> but it delays those stalkers long enough to be make this meat shield pretty ineffective which lets these marines and marauders attack the attacking units directly and it looks like Zandan calls game and gets up and leaves those fo those uh Stalkers got taken out pretty quickly. We do see some additional pressure coming from Ultralists from Trilobite on Zandan's expansion here. That would have gone down very quickly. Uh, nah, no harassment done to this expansion, but he had no production building on buildings. All he could build at this point were uh, were drones. Anyway, thanks for oh, <laughs> that Overlord's still chilling out over here. Anyway, whole, sitting there the whole game. Any uh, this has been Phobos. Uh, I gotta thank Kim Hun Jun again, Kim Hyun Jun and Trilobite for sending us this replay. We are, thank you for letting us cast them. We appreciate it very much. Uh, if you'd like to see one of your own games casted, or uh, you have comments, questions, concerns, feedback of any sort, submit it to Bronze League Perspective at Hotmail.com. Again, that is Bronze League Perspective at Hotmail.com. Anyway, thanks for joining me. This is Phobos signing out.